Oh, the bloody gate's open. Who left the gate open? Today, you're coming to the farm with me. Typho, what are you doing? You're, you're not coming to work because of your injury. Into your crate. Into your crate, child. So, Typho's not coming because um, she hasn't been at work since the 1st of December. One very expensive vet bill later, they said, oh, she's probably torn a muscle or something. Just keep her, keep her caged, keep her crated for a bit, see if that improves, don't take her to work. So normally, normally I'd just have her in the car with me. However, I can't, I don't have self-control. I can't just have her in the car with me because then I want to use her and I can't use her. So that's the situation. I feel like this is really boring. Okay, so I've just arrived at work. Need to go find dad for my daily instructions. Okay, let's go. Hello, Goo. Hello, little buddy. Hello. All right, so today's a bit of a weird one. We're in the fencing shed looking for the little clip gun thing. Um, we'll see if we can find it. So I found one. It's rusted to... It's basically, it's, it's, it's past its time. So now we're looking in the cupboard. I literally can't find the other one. So we're going to do the old fashioned method of stick some wire on it and hope it works. And back to the wire shed. Grab some a flexible wire. Will that be enough? Fuck it, we'll take the bucket. All right, <laughs> let's go fix this fence. But first, the car needs a drink. Are you enjoying retirement, little lady? Hello, darling. Dude, can you, like, stop staring at me? I, I'm not a fan. Okay, so it has just gone on 10 o'clock, so it's time to slip, slop, slap. Don't know if you've noticed, but... I'm a bit of a pasty person. Like, let's be honest, I'll probably more, look more alive when I'm dead than I do now. So we need to protect the skin so we don't get skin cancer because it's a real concern and you don't care. Okay, fair enough. I am going to keep recording because then I can see what I'm doing. So isn't that fun? If anyone's wondering, this is the sunscreen I use because... It's safe for the ocean. It's reef safe. Yeah, pretty much. I don't like putting it on my forehead because then it runs and it burns my eyes. Don't forget the neck. We don't want the neck to look like an Ugg boot. Yeah, that'll do. You may be wondering, why do I have a pink hat? So basically when I bought it, I bought it online and the only option was this, a pink one or a black one. And I thought black's going to get bloody hot. <laughs> so that's why. We, so this is what, this is the look. Isn't it a vibe? I love it. I don't get sunburnt. But yeah, basically, I look like, I look like a dickhead. Okay, let's go fix this fence. <laughs> okay, so here's the beautiful fence. Doesn't it look lovely? Absolutely. Um, they're the sheep over there, and there's also the sheep, and they're also in the rolls over there. Um, basically, what's happened is I've moved them from here yesterday and then put them in, oh, the day before, then put them in here. Um, they're prime lines. They're a new breed that we've got for this year. I thought I have it face me so you guys can see this sick look. Um, basically, they're prime lines. We got them this year. They're meant to reach full weight a lot quicker. So they're more, like, they're more sustainable breed because they get, you get more off less. So that's the hope for them anyway. Whether or not that comes to tuition, we shall see. But the wire has spilled all over the fucking car. Anyway, so that's the hope for them. But they're really hard on fences. Like, so hard on fences. This is the third fence that I fixed because of them. And basically, this fence, we've got like, you've got, you got your chicken wire on your main sort of fence. And they, they've literally, they've just squished it. So let's fix it. All right, that should sit there now. Does that look good? Is that a good shot? OK, 
Okay, so I was trying to get the thing that just makes these and it would have made my life a lot easier. There we go. You can see them now. So I did some janky, some janky versions of them. They should be all right. This wasn't even fastened to the post, but now it is. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that's going to hold them in. Okay, so now we've got to re-incarcerate the escapings. I feel like I need to add more context on why the sheep came back to this paddock. Put When you let sheep go and you send sheep back to their paddock, you could pretty much, unless they're going through other sheep, just open the gate and let them wander back, um, as long as they're not on the road. But you can pretty much just let them wander back because they kind of know where they're going and because their sheep were in this paddock, they wanted to go back to this paddock. So they kind of found a way through the fence to go to the paddock. So yeah, there's some useless information you didn't want to know, didn't need to know, and aren't going to do anything with. So you're welcome. And now, since we've learned our lesson, we're going to shut this gate. So if they do come back through the fence, I don't have to get them all the way from in here again. There's actually so many of them that got through that fence. You have got to be kidding me. And back we go again. See, if I had typo, this situation would have been avoided. Ladies, did you not hear me honking? Get those calves up, ladies. High to the sky, please. There we go. There we go. Thank you, ladies. I suspect they're going to go to that hole in the fence. Where that fence post is there, that's where the hole was. I'm wondering if they're going to go to the hole or if they're going to go to the gate. We shall see. Look at them, there. Those front ones there, they're going to the hole. Look at them. There you go. Now you can't get through the hole. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I swear if they go through that fence, I'm going to cry. Oh, they're gonna try the fence. Oh my God, are you serious right now? No, no, no. They're all wondering. Gooses. Your sheep, not geese. Keep it moving. See? There we go. My fence job did the job. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes, go through the gate. The gate. Notice how it's not a fence. Go through the I missed a lamb yesterday. Are you serious? Oh, that's annoying. I've just noticed something very interesting. These four here, they're all crossbreds. They're not actually prime lines. I, they got in with them. But no, notice how they're staying separate from the prime lines. I don't know. It's just, just an observation. Okay, so we have to go get to the gate and open the gate. So let's play the game. Don't get bit by a snake. Okay. Snakeys, I am here. Snakeys. Snakeys, I'm, I'm here. Snakeys. So you always put gates, I'm talking to you like you all have farms, um, you put ow, you put gates going inwards so they don't get stuck behind the gate because they're stupid. Oh look, there's their friends that didn't escape. Could you imagine? I see the harvest is up and running again. We have that crop to do. We've got this one in front of me to do. There's one down there behind that green one in that corner to do. And one over the road and then i think we're done but yeah if anyone's never seen a harvester go there it is so we don't have a chaser bin which is when a tractor drives next to it so you go from the harvester you empty it into that field bin and then the tractor will run oh, i think that field bin's got a built-in auger so the tractor will run that auger which is that thing that i've put an arrow to hopefully when i've edited and that'll go onto there and then the truck will take it away. I need to get all the way down to that corner to those gates that are open. We're gonna be a while. 
Uh, well, good news, Dad's coming with his dog, so this is not going to take as long as I expected it to. I'm trying to get a good angle so you can watch the dogs work, but here's Goof, he's coming to deal with these ones that aren't cooperating. Um, if I can get it to focus. There he is. Oh, the others are merging with them, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, there's the dogs working. If that'll focus. It's not going to want to focus. It's focusing on the windscreen. There. There we go. Now it's focusing. That's Typo's dad there, that's Leo. So we're actually putting them through the next paddock to eliminate the whole situation together. But this is all that was left. More left the paddock than stay. Like, there's there, there's are these ones coming back just now. But this is all that stayed. Okay, so they're meant to be going in this paddock and guess what? We got sheep that's gone through the fence. Who would have thought? They're meant to be in there, in that green one there. Oh, look at this dude. Where is he? There he is. Look at him. He looks fun. Oh, don't come to me. Back to your paddock, please. Back we go. Thank oh, the bloody gate's open. Who left the gate open? All right, so we'll shut this. Yes, yeah, stay in there. Look, when gates look like this to um, keep them shut, it's probably time to change the system. All right, that's job done. Make sure we shut the gate. There we go, look at that, that gate is shut. And there they are. Right, lunchtime. Hello, my spy. You're gonna be inside for the afternoon. Okay, so I've had a quick lunch. I've turned the fans on so the dogs are comfortable and I've put Cooper in the bathroom so he won't get eaten by a snake. Um, so yeah, let's go back to work. A den -a -nan -nan. Den -a -nan -nan. Den -an -an -an, den -an -an -an, den -an -an -an. All right, so, oh my God, it's hot. I think let's get some air conditioning happening. Right, okay. So task for the afternoon is we're in the tractor and we're just gonna go down to bales, not the bales from earlier, different bales, and we're pairing them so they can be loaded onto the truck. Uh, onto the truck. All right, so we have just arrived at the paddock. Um, this paddock, I think we have roughly 700 bales off. We've already taken in a couple dozen truckloads, but you know, all these have to be paired so they can be loaded on the truck. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a general idea of what we're doing now. So what we're gonna do is we find our victim. Here is our victim. And we need to slowly sneak up on it. We don't wanna scare it. And then we stab. And then we find a second victim and we're gonna put them together here. Watch each other die. There we go, beautiful. Now we put this victim next to the other victim and then we're gonna take the forks back out. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we like to stab them nice and high because otherwise they're gonna roll and run away. So we kept the forks, oh, it's probably too high. We don't need a headshot, right? So then we're going in and stab. Now we pick them up and we go and hide the bodies before the police come. Okay, so it's just occurred to me that I didn't explain why you need to stab from the top. So I'm going to show you what happens when you stab from the bottom. So when you're picking two bales up, if you stab from the bottom, what happens is this. See how they're spinning? That's why you pick them up from the top. Because when you pick them up from the top, they lean on each other and that holds them there. Run, run as fast as you can. I will catch you. So get out from under the bales because it's really annoying. Okay, so I just thought I'd update you on the moistness situation. It is currently 33 degrees outside. The aircon is on four, as we can see. However, I am sweating. I reckon my back would be moister than an oyster right now. It is so hot. I'm in the pits of hell probably like actually no I'm not gonna say that I think when this was being um, when the grass was being cut I think it was a bit moist still not as moist as my back though okay, so it's a little bit later um, it, I, it's still it's still hot but we have got to the other half of the paddock that first corner which all the bales are gonna be fed out to our sheep so they're all getting stacked 
next to the gate so I can just come in with the feed cart, load them on and feed them out. Okay, so I'm just bringing two more bales over and then I have to head back. Okay, so this is the line now. It's as bad as straight as Jojo Siwa, but yep, there you go. Good stuff. Okay, so we're just uh, pulling into the fucking room. So we're just pulling into the tractor's home and I'll give you an idea of how hot it is. The bitumen on the road is starting to melt. Okay, now we've got to switch back from the tractor to the Suzuki. All right, so we're back. Better turn the air conditioner off because everyone complains that when they get in a vehicle after me that they get attacked by air. Sorry, I don't want to live in my own swimming pool. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Oh, I thought I left a window open. I did not leave a window open. 